Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Chris Sterling did was our set designer, and he works. Uh, he has done several sets for New Moons. I think this is his best best set to date. Um, one of the things that he said was that he wanted for everything to be very organic and to be very um, basically not. The, not having people come out on the stage and move stuff and reset stuff. And we had a lot of set changes, and thank God for Lisa Moran. <laughs> um, she's not only a superstar on stage, but um, I could give her anything to do backstage or on stage, which she did. She had to reset a lot of things, and she did that greatly. But it added to the sort of organic nature of what we wanted to accomplish. Um, and with the exception of the memory tree, um, everything on this set is repurposed. Um, and so it's actually completely green. We're gonna, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna toss it all in the dumpster when we're done. But, uh, <laughs> I rebuilt a deck about a year ago and most of the decking that came off um, my deck is on this floor <laughs> and on the walls. And um, we had several other people who contributed greatly to adding, um, but I love the fact that the desk folds down from the wall, that his, his closet is in the set and you don't see it, that the bed folds out, and it's, it's, it's wonderful in terms of making those scene changes happen quickly and effectively. So, yay for Chris and may I say, just real quickly, just because he's here in the audience tonight, um, our, our sound designer, Eric Sefton, is here tonight. And if you notice that crying baby, mm -hmm. I, who probably annoyed the hell out of you here on the show because it did us as well. I'm holding it. Um, yes. <laughs> Shut up, Jack. Um, <laughs> Chris, uh, Eric did a wonderful job with the sound effects. He installed extra speakers so that we could have the, when you talk about the special effects, that rumbling sound. Um, yeah, it really added to everything that we were able to do. And the baby had its own speaker um, inside the blanket. So when the baby moved, as you heard it, um, the crying was very specific. Um, and that's something also that I honestly have never had the opportunity to work with before um, and it's been a great delight for me and I think it's been necessary for the show especially because of the special effects and the sort of supernatural things that we have happening we really need a great person on, on point for sound and Eric's done a, a wonderful job. So, um, any other questions? Yes ma'am. I'm curious how many of the cast have been involved with this production, and I think we workshopped it at GCT before, right? Um, which I sadly missed. So, have any of you been? Are you new new to it, or you were involved before? We were involved. We were involved. Um, what we were. is what is the what is the um, experience been like for you guys working with new language? With you know, getting to work with the playwright doesn't happen very often. Don't screw it up. <laughs> 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 Oh, we do every we time. We do every <laughs> <time>. <laughs> And then we beat ourselves up about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you two had a minute before. I was curious how much the play had evolved from when you read it on stage the first time to now. I know we didn't do much editing, but I didn't know. I don't recall much editing, but I will say this. Having read it every single time it's been read, I don't think I appreciated all of the lines until we got involved in the play. And then they actually took on more meaning. Um, back to you know how difficult it was, what an experience it was. Um, I'm a former English teacher. I'm a, I'm a teacher now, but a former English teacher. The dialogue was difficult um, mm -hmm. because it's not what we normally speak. And I, some of us, it gave us a, quite an experience <laughs> trying to get the dialogue down. A lot of, a lot of double, triple, Right, right. <laughs> if we're not used to it, but it's beautiful dialogue. Mm -hmm. uh, and for my, we actually like, before we started rehearsal, rehearsal, you know, you always have a reading before you go to rehearsal. And we did it, 
and actually the scene, the end scene with Evangeline and him, this little guy right here dying, uh, there was actually several more lines, and he had added them in since the reading at GCT, and we had a conversation like, do you, I, I go, do you like this? Because it was just a lot of words to be said all at that one time, and that actually ended up being edited out. I think he, he was like, yeah, that's just too much. He kept one. It yeah. works out well, because that goodbye, John, is just, it's awesome. It, it scares me every time. It's just so dark, and it's, it's not crowded by other lines and stuff, so it's just, well, and she would need to say something. But the thought was, I think, that she needed to say something to him. There wasn't closure the way there was before. Yeah, because I think in the reading there was at GCT, there was nothing said. There was she just turned her back and left. I could have thought of two stronger words in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to compliment uh, that the lady, the blonde lady, Alicia. Yes. Alicia, that was the most. Can't have nothing nice. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, you're always doing stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yeah, so I think that's the most compliment I've ever There were a lot of really wonderful touches in the performance, but when you put the tablecloth on the table and moved it around. Mm -hmm to keep it from wrinkling while you were laying it on the table. That was the most wonderful, this is a 1950s homemaker touch. It, it, I mean, it was, when I heard you talk, it was just flawlessly in character. Just that, that little thing, and I thought, why didn't I learn that from my mother? I think I just have forgotten it, because that's exactly what my mother would do. One of the things I think I've appreciated most about working with this cast is um, not only have they been dedicated to the material and they've done everything I've asked them to do, no matter how contrary to their own um, general instincts that is, but they, I could not have asked, I could not have asked for it a better show to work on and I could not have asked for a better cast to take that on for the very first time. And they've had a special opportunity to put their own stamp on the show and to create it for the first time as actors and as a removing myself as director, that's an incredible opportunity and I think they've done a wonderful job. I've been I've been blessed to work with every one of them. Um, because I've been on stage with a few of them but I haven't ever had the opportunity to direct any one of them. Um, so it's been a blessing for me. So thank you. Thank you so much um, for supporting the new work. Um, that's been the best part for me about working on the show. We, we do a great job. We have so many, we have so many wonderful things happening in Memphis Theater right now at every stage on town, um, in town that, 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 uh, and it's awesome, but it's awesome that we have the opportunity, and I thank New Moon so much for picking this up and doing it, and for allowing this new work to be seen um, and previewed here. That, to me, is the, the mark of a true arts community. Not only are we reproducing, but we are creating. And we can't beat that. Um, so well, thank you. And our own is creating. Our we own just, is creating with our own community, and exactly. that's that's really we're the jewel. Of, as I said mm -hmm. on my WK in our, uh, interview, yeah. that is the real jewel of all of this. Is that it is something that is is coming forth from our community, and I hope it inspires other people within the community to do the same. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.